All right, what's this interesting idea? Guilfoyle and I were talking, and this may seem a little out there at first, but instead of funding our launch with a Series B, what about an ICO? Uh, initial coin offering? It's basically Are a... you a fucking moron? Maybe I don't need to be here for this. Sit the fuck down. Okay. Richard, what are you doing? Just exploring our options. Why? You don't think I have your back? Look, I get that you're giving up board seats and shares, but look what you're getting in return. As if the $30 million you were getting wasn't good enough. We provide you with marketing, networking, staffing. We help you negotiate partnerships and navigate regulations. All these things that are changing by the minute. Gilfoyle, can you help with any of that? I'd rather just listen if it's all the same to you. Look, if you do an ICO, you're not only saying fuck you to us, you're saying fuck you to all VCs. Jesus, Richard, why would you even think it would be okay to talk to me about this? Like, would you ask your wife who you should cheat with? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I, I guess I was just looking for advice from a friend. Oh, are we friends, Richard? Yes, of course. Really? Have we spoken once in the past year about anything other than business? Yes. Wait. No? When's my birthday? Come on. Do I live in a house or an apartment? Did you even know that I was married? You are? I was. I had it annulled after three months. Did he ask you who he should cheat with? Look, you came for advice? Fine. Forget an ICO. Okay, I'm sure Guilfoyle told you that he can handle all the technical stuff, but this is not just a math problem. They're my direct competition. I've done my homework on this. So before you walk away from stability and gamble your entire company on crypto, there's another friend of yours I think you should talk to.